Today's video is going to be on finding local maximum and local minimum values using the second derivative test. So, what we're going to do today, instead of using the first derivative test, is just simply the second derivative test. So, if you recall what the second derivative test is, if you have double derivative of x, and it's continuous near the critical point C, then when f of c is equal to 0, and the double derivative of x near that c is greater than or equal to 0, then f of x has either a local minimum or a local max at that critical point C. So, given our function f of x is equal to 1 plus 3x squared minus 2x cubed f of x equals 6x minus 6x squared and f double prime is going to equal 6 minus 12x which if you factor out the 12 will give us 1 half minus x so what values of x are going to give us our critical points so what are going to make f prime of x equal to 0 so what's going to happen is that you're going to have 6x minus 6 has to be equal to 0 make this equal to 6x factor out the 1 minus x therefore the critical point is 0 or 1 taking the critical point and plugging those back into our double derivative Sorry, is going to give 6 and 6 is greater than 0 therefore f of 0 equal to 1 double derivative of 1 is equal to negative 6 negative 6 is less than 0 f of 1 equal to 2 therefore This is going to be our local minimum. This is going to be our local maximum. So, the test you use, either first or second derivative test, isn't really dependent upon anything other than preference. It's really you look at the function, and whichever one's easier to analyze based upon your first or second derivative is the one that you'd use.